good morning guys it's julia back with another video welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel so today is sunday october 22nd and i decided that today i am taking one for me i need a good sunday reset i have a lot of stuff coming up this week this whole week is the last week before early action for college applications are due so i've been just like grind working that i have like a unit test and math this week and then it's hollow weekend and everybody knows how hollow weekend gets i have had a hollow weekend curse on me for the past three years two years something like that where something always goes like significantly wrong on halloween for me so i'm determined to make that change this year today is gonna be one of those days where i take care of myself if you guys are watching this you guys need to take one for you as well i am gonna have an egg and sausage like omelet for breakfast because i feel like that always does a good little jump start to my day and then i'm gonna shower and start the self-care day i do have a smidge bit of homework and i'm only gonna do the stuff that i need to need to get done because i refuse to do anything more today so i will see you guys when i'm eating my breakfast because it's 11 and i can't sleep past 10 30 these days i don't know why but it's fine okay you guys i actually lied so bad i'm back and i'm removing my makeup because i forgot to take it off last night i hate when i forget to take off my makeup first of all it's like huge pet peeve for me but i've been doing it so much more often lately i think it's like once you start start doing it you like cannot stop doing it it always itches my eyes the most like it doesn't really bother the rest of my face knock on wood my face has been like pretty good about breaking out i have really bad pores as far as acne acne like i don't have really bad acne my eyes are still burning now because i left it on for too long that my eyes are still burning yeah. my eggs and stuff already so i'm going to eat i'm really excited because i'm really hungry and i could use a good meal right now guys uh, Good. Um, yum. Okay guys, I'm gonna no. eat. It's kind of like an hour later. I ate and then I sat in bed for a while and I got on the phone with Leah and we were on the phone for about like an hour. Like I don't even know how we started chatting for that long. That kind of always happens. I call her for like one thing and then we chat for far too long. But it's okay because I love my girl. But I'm about to go take a shower because I god forbid Lee sakenly need to. I don't feel like the dirty type of like filth right now but i feel like the i've just been sitting around for so much time these days that i just feel grimy this is the first time that i feel like i'm not gonna cry when i step in the shower i don't know why these days the shower has been my safe haven i go in there to like take a shower and then i hear like a song and suddenly next thing you know i'm crying or sometimes i don't hear a song and i just start crying to like songs that i shouldn't be crying to but i feel like i'm not gonna do that today whatever like i'm getting excited Yesterday, I had like a harsh like breaking point. I was like, but I'm doing something wrong But I think that it was just all in my head I think that now I'm feeling better and I'm feeling like I can conquer the world Keep all my products under here because there's no space in our shower for all of my stuff I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioners and Shampoo I think that this is all I'm gonna do today I'm not gonna do like a full go crazy shower today I'll probably exfoliate Let me get my exfoliator out actually because I probably will do that i'll do moroccan rose today because i like the smell of that one that's what i'm gonna do pressure is just so good oh my god i'll see you guys after my shower hello i don't know if my camera's foggy i just got out of the shower i haven't even checked the time yet so i would not be able to tell you if it was a pretty long shower or not yet it's whoa it was not long at all it's 228 it was like a 30 minute shower like it was long but it wasn't as long as i thought it was yeah, i was kind of ready to be out of there i feel like my brain was really empty in that shower i was thinking about like college for like a little bit but for the rest of the shower like i don't know i guess i just blanked out anyway i'm about to use my nourishing coconut milk serum i'm pretty sure this is like really bad for your hair supposedly it helps my hair it just helps it like be less frizzy i think well hopefully it's doing something useful and i'm not just like re-oiling up my hair like anyway i think i'm about to go back to my room and get dressed or put something on i'll probably just put like a tank top on and some like comfy short i don't think i'm gonna put anything like cute on because i don't plan on going anywhere today but that was a 
very nice shower. I'm trying to think of what I could make for dinner. I might cook tonight. I'm in the, a bit of a cooking mood. Don't ask me why, but I kind of want to cook. Like, I want to make pasta tonight. I need to open my window because it's way too freaking dark in here. I kept my room clean for so long, and then Spirit Week and Hoko happened, and, like, it just turned to madness. If I'm being realistic with myself, I probably honestly won't end up cleaning it until the New Year. Maybe Thanksgiving? Okay, the New Year's a little far, so maybe, like, Thanksgiving or something. The way I've been busy and running around, girl, no such thing as time. Crazy things are about to start going on, I feel like. I'm gonna change and chill for a little bit, and then maybe I'll do some skincare. I managed to lollygag for about an hour. I, I always just manage to find myself on the phone with somebody or doing something that I don't need to be doing, but honestly, those are my favorite types of moments and my favorite types of days because they're the days where I'm really taking time for myself. I'm going to go on my school computer and I'm gonna do two assignments that I have due tonight by 11.59. One is a coding Java assignment and one is a take-home pop quiz. So I really wanna just like lock in and get those now before it gets too, too late and I get too, too cozy into the night. After lots of coding and lots of mathing, I finished both my pop quiz and unit two lesson six for Java. Now I kind of have a second to just chill and relax if I really want to. Wow, my life almost flashed before my eyes. I opened my computer and it was like glitch screen. Like it was just straight glitch screen. I was like, did I sit on it? Did I do something to it? She is refunctioning. She is doing her thing. One of the schools I was applying to basically like had a whole different sector of questions and I didn't know about that, but I was just like looking at the questions and I was just like, yeah, no. Now it's almost seven o'clock and I haven't made any dinner. So I don't really know what I want for dinner now. I have to feed my cats. I think I'm gonna make the meal I still wanted because I still want it really, really badly. I just like don't know how I'm supposed to make it if we don't have this thing. We have bacon. I can use bacon. I honestly have no clue how to make bacon. Isn't this easy? So the world just hates me today because for some reason we're out of the pasta I normally use to make this meal. So I'm gonna have to improvise and I'm gonna use these mini wheels instead. I never eat this pasta with this so I have no clue what it's gonna taste like but I feel like I usually like those mini wheels so I'm gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna get this pot start boiling some water while I do everything else. I forget that I have to light this stove up with a lighter and it's so freaking scary every single time I do it. I hate doing it. <laughs> Me realizing I thought I was pointing the camera but I wasn't. Call me crazy, I'm Italian. This is a lot of pasta, but I'm kind of hungry and I really only ate those eggs today. They are too good. Oh my god. It's such a healthy snack too. Yes, I'm good. Okay, I have my little tray that measures how much I'm making. I, think I am gonna start making the bacon because I think this could easily go wrong. And I don't know how much bacon to use because I normally make this with like ham. I'm gonna use a lot of bacon because who's gonna tell me that I can't use a lot of bacon? Imagine I make this and it tastes so nasty because I'm like improvising half of it and I'm getting a little hungry, so. Oh my god. Oh my God. This is why you need to wait until things are thawed. But I have no patience and I'm trying to like rip it apart. This is really bad. Ah! This is going to turn into a disastrous video. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm gonna wait until this water boils and I this like bacon thaws and then I'll talk to you guys again. My water is boiling. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and I'm gonna add my pasta. Okay, I might add just a smidge more. I just hit my head. Set a timer for five minutes. Now it's time to do my best attempt at making this bacon. Like I know how to make bacon, but I suck at making bacon. I always find a way to mess it up. Guys, this might literally just be a disaster actually. Could have the potential to be a utter disaster. I'm an idiot. I just turned the stove off and then I turned it. I actually can't cook, it's like a problem. Do not call me wifey. Now we're gonna see how I cook this freaking bacon, how well I do. Let's see if I even can cook it at all. Bacon is not my specialty. It's on high right now and it doesn't look like it's cooking at all, so I'm really confused. Okay, I'm hearing a sizzle. A sizzle is always a good sign. Okay, okay, okay. I am really doing this, even with all the complications. I think I definitely made an absurd amount of pasta. Like I accidentally added way too much. You know, sometimes we get a little silly up in here. Here. Okay, maybe I don't know how to cook bacon because why does it look like this? Don't ever put me in charge of your cooking needs. You will be disappointed. Like 
it's funny because I can cook, but I also at the same time like literally cannot at all. It's like an uneven mix. It's, it's a weird mix. Should I check on my pasta? It can go for a little longer. Oh, I'm getting the whip of bacon because why am I serving? I don't like when my pasta gets too mushy. If you're wondering what I'm making, I'm making an Italian dish. I call it like white pasta, like because it literally is just like milk and pasta. There's definitely a better name for it than white pasta. I'm kind of worried that I used too small of a pan. Ah, okay. Ah. I need to strain the pasta. Shit. I just dropped so much pasta in this thing. Wow, guys, this can feed like four people. The bacon is burning. I made so much pasta. I add lots of half and half. And I start mixing and you kind of just like let it steam a little and cook together. This is a lot of food guys I made way too much pasta. I should have just kept it at what I had before Okay, you guys i'm gonna try and finish cooking this and hopefully something good comes out of it But if not i'll see you guys when i'm done. I finished and it actually tastes pretty good I just forgot to put salt and stuff. So that's why it tasted like shit, but here it is It doesn't look as good as it tastes but like i'm an italian like I could eat plain pasta for breakfast lunch and dinner So i'm gonna sit my booty down and start eating because I feel like it's already dry out a little bit. I'll catch you guys after. I finished eating and it was pretty good. It wasn't like the best. It could have definitely been better. I've eaten better food before, but life goes on is what they say. Right now I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare using my The Ordinary Naya Naya some the niacinamide one whatever i don't like to use a lot like i use like very little when i use it my face always feels better after i shower and it's like very smooth and clear so i always feel like i don't need a lot but see how skin instantly turned a different color like that's what always makes me nervous a sunday reset day is like kind of what i needed and i'm gonna be transparent it's not been an easy week this time of year is like a really hard time of year be enough it's just like a lot and it's very overwhelming i'm just gonna put some vaseline on. I'm going to do my eye cream now. This is my favorite little cream ever. Stress is in and out and it's okay to be stressed and if you're stressed just know everyone has moments like that but you will make it through it. You will make it out of it. So I think I'm going to try to just watch a movie and let myself just like decompress tonight a little bit but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss another video and follow my Instagram and my TikTok both of my link down in the description below and on the screen right now. Take a self care day one if you need one. I love you guys so unbelievably much. Peace out.